Praise the Lord, mighty prophet of the Lord. Amen. Now, uh, amen. Now, uh, first of all, when the Lord has spoken with me, the Lord, uh, the Lord Jehovah, Jehovah Elion, the Most High God, He has spoken with me uh, this past night, and in this conversation, um, there is an earthquake that is coming to a place. The Lord already took me to that place. And uh, I also ran for my life. The things were falling on me from the roof and so forth. There is a devastating earthquake that is coming to the earth. The Lord, the God of heaven, Jehovah El Shama, Jehovah Mecca Dishken, Jehovah Hoseidu, the Lord Jehovah Eloheka, Jehovah El Gibor, Jehovah Hoseidu. He has spoken with me about an earthquake that is coming to the earth. And uh, I, I see an earthquake coming to a place. And in this place they produce a lot of cheese. They do a lot of cheese. I can see cheese. I'm walking there. I see myself tasting cheese. Very tasty cheese. I'm eating it there. And as I'm eating the cheese and walking and seeing all these things happening there, I see also, uh, I see two buffaloes fighting there. And I see somebody involved also. I don't know whether it's a, they play with, uh, with animals. Uh, they, they have some cattle. Someone, you know, the buffalo try to pierce him, he dodge it and so forth, a cow or something. But I see like a buffalo. A black one. It, there are two. There are two beasts I see someone is playing with, you know. I also see the cheese, a lot of cheese being made there. And then uh, there is an airport. Uh, when I look further away, I see an airport on my right hand side, some planes trying to take off. An earthquake takes place in that place. An earthquake takes place in that place. And uh, it's very devastating because it really ravages, destroyed, and destroys and devastates a lot of buildings. I see a lot of rubble, but as I'm there, as the earthquake has just happened, a lot of those, the roof, the things that are on the roof, the broken pieces and the rubble, they fall on me, so I, I run for my life with everybody else in that place. I do run for my life with everybody else, and uh, towards the airport far away there, I see as if the earthquake is going to slice, is going to slice a mountain. It's going to slice a hill. I think this is a hill or a small mountain that I see the earthquake going to slice. So it will look like a quarry, a quarry where people dig soil and dig things. Uh, so this is what I'm seeing and I'm talking to the people there already. I'm talking to a lot of these other people. So there is a tremendous time there. But I see also a lot of sexual sin there. Uh, there is sexual sin, um, sexual immorality. There is lies, there is godlessness in the church. The heathenism in the church, the atheism of the church, where people are basically not born again. They, they don't care holiness. They are really literally not born again. They are wildly. They are living their Christian salvation in the world. They have mixed it with the moral decay of this world. So I see all that and I understand as the Lord is speaking with me. He's telling me that that is the point of contradiction, the point of controversy, the point of conflict that he has with this land. With this man that is speaking with me, this is the right man who's speaking with me. And, uh, but, uh, I see an earthquake coming to this land. There is a land. You are making a lot of cheese. 
you will learn that makes a lot of tasty cheese. I, I pick some of them, I walk there, I taste them, I eat them. They are quite delicious. Very delicious and very tasty cheese. And then uh, there is an airport. When I look far away, I see right straight, I see an airport on my right hand side. I see some aircraft taking off. And then I see this earthquake that hits this place. And this seems to have been a place. So I'm even involved now after the earthquake. Serious ravaging earthquake. It's very, very massive earthquake. So um, I'm picking things. I'm trying to salvage with you, with the people of this land. We are picking things that have been destroyed. We are trying to salvage and see anything. I'm carrying, I'm carrying a machine in a box, a small machine that has wires, an instrument. It looks like an electron instrument. You plug it into the, that is plugged into the socket, and then, uh, so I see the screws and everything is in a box. So I'm trying to carry carefully, but I cannot even pass. The passage has been constricted by the earthquake. And then I'm trying to, we're trying to salvage things, and then a lot of stuff fall from the rubble, the roof that was shaking, that was ravaged also. They fall on me, so I ran for my life with you. I was eating cheese with you here, I ran for my life after the earthquake. And uh, the, the after effects are taking place, the buildings are shaking, it's very ravaged land now. And then at the far end, it slices off a hill. So it looks more like a quarry that has been dug by tractors. So there is a situation. But the Bible speaks very clearly in the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 7. And it says that at this time, in these days, there will be earthquakes and famines in various places. And that these earthquakes, they symbolize, they are the cue. They are that very important sign that the Lord gave us to prepare. When he said, when we see this thing, then we know that the coming of the Messiah, the anointed one, the Lord, the King of Kings, his coming has drawn nigh. Now the Lord has sent me to speak to the whole earth and tell the nations of the earth that the coming of the Messiah is near. And that each and every land, each and every nation, each and every country, every language, every tribe, every people, every dialect, every tongue, they must now prepare every race. They must all prepare for the glorious coming of this king of the universe. The Messiah is the king of the universe. So everybody on this earth, must submit themselves to the jurisdiction of the authority of the reign of the Messiah. So the Lord has sent me to, to warn the four corners of the earth to tell them that it's important to prepare well in righteousness, to turn away from everything and anything sin, to make sure that you be released, a personal responsibility at this hour, that you ensure you receive Jesus Christ Jesus as Lord. And after receiving Christ Jesus as Lord, it's also a personal responsibility for you to ensure that you sustain that holiness of salvation and righteousness. That when that day, whose hour is not known, whose day itself is also not known, when that day befalls, then you are not caught unaware but found ready that you may inherit the eternal and the super glorious kingdom of God. So this is the message the Lord has sent me to trumpet and to announce across the earth to all the nations of the earth, to tell every nation, every people, every tribe, language, every dialect, every community on this earth, kings and the most lowly of maiden servants, the cities, the super sophisticated ultra-modern cities to the smallest, most primitive villages of this earth. To the mountains, the oceans, the rivers, the lakes, the trees, the plants, the rocks. To announce to the birds in the air, even to the stars, that the Messiah is coming. And this is the hour at which to behold the salvation of Jesus. And to be ready for the glorious coming of the Messiah. 
the Lord has sent me to warn that when that day does happen, when the Messiah comes for a holy church, it will be an irretrievable event, meaning an event that cannot be reversed, irreversible. So it will pay a lot. It will be very profitable. It will be very prudent and very wise to spend your time on this earth praying and preparing for that day, making sure you are right with that day. And the Bible is very clear on how to prepare. Make sure that you repent and turn away from sin and be baptized by complete immersion like Jesus himself was, that you may fulfill all righteousness and to make sure that you shun evil, the immoral dressing of women come to an end, the immoral dressing of men, the immoral behavior of women, the immoral behavior of men and young men and youth and what, that all everything moral decay that now you purge it off your life and be in right standing with the Lord. So the Lord has sent me to warn the nations of the earth, to warn every living being, including the rocks, the stones, the oceans, the rivers, the mountains, the hills, the spring, the brooks, the plants. You sent me to warn every creation on this earth that the Messiah is coming and is coming soon and that the church needs to prepare. This is the one about, about whom it's written in the Bible that the old I send my messenger ahead of you to prepare your way before the day of the Lord. Shalom.